is a quick overview on how to use brushes in Illustrator. So far in VAT, you guys have used brushes in Photoshop. Illustrator is similar but different. For instance, uh, if you use the rectangle tool and we put a stroke on that rectangle tool, you can see if we zoom in that the vector is very, very smooth. That's just sort of the default in Illustrator. But if we choose... Hello, Illustrator. There we go. Sorry. If we go up to the top here with my box selected and I see here where it says basic brush definition, there's some default brush definition set in here. For instance, I can make a thicker rounded brush. You can see the rounded corners here. I can also make um, ovals or flat and you can see with the flat, it does change the definition of the box. There's also a charcoal feather in here. So again, you can see that now the vector is no longer solid. It's got some texture and personality to it. So I can use brushes without actually using the brush tool. I have more brushes that I can choose from and I wanna show you where to find those. Take a moment to switch over to your tablet and stylus and plug that in so that you can do this by hand. We're gonna use the paintbrush tool. And when I drag a line with my paintbrush tool, it's set on my brush definition charcoal feather. So that's exactly what I'm getting. Remember with Photoshop, we had a lot of pressure sensitivity and that's not really preloaded into Illustrator pressure sensitivity. The brush is defined as thick to thin. Um, so depending on which way you draw it, you'll get that effect, but it doesn't control pressure. So go with me up here to brush definition and double click where it says three point oval. This is your brush options. And it's telling you that this is the shape of the brush and the direction it goes in. And this is the size and appearance of the brush as you move it. We're gonna go down to the size button here and move over to where it says fixed size and change that to pressure. So now that means dependent on your pressure, the size of your brush will change. You have to turn your variation up though to three to see it change. See, it's very tiny with light pressure and three point with thick pressure. When you hit okay, then you should be able to see some variance in your brush marks. And it, you should see it, I apologize, I don't have a tablet on me, but you should see it with a light pressure go light and a thick pressure go thick. So if you want pressure sensitivity, that's where you go. You can also scroll down and see that there's some brushes, like a filbert brush here. So you can see that it's a little bit like Photoshop. There's some brushes that have, you know, that, that create the appearance of actual brushes. And there's not many to pick from here, but we've got libraries, just like we do in the other programs, and you can go through these libraries. If you just go to Arrows Special with me, you'll see that library box open up and you can scroll down and see lots of arrows. If you're actually making an arrow, I'd suggest you make a straight line and turn that into an arrow, but you could brush with it, which kind of makes a strange effect, but you could. White triangles down here at the bottom will scroll you through the different brushes. So there's our calligraphic, our default brushes, and here we've got some artistic brushes. So now you can create different effects. We have ink brushes we can see through. And of course you can change the color. Don't forget there, any color you want. Um, and keep scrolling through and see what you can find. Uh, there are um, all kinds of artistic brushes, but there's also borders. So in that case, you'd probably use a shape and put a border on it. We don't recommend you use these too often, but there's a time and a place. There's a lot you can do in here. There are more of the filbert brushes. So the artistic brushes, oops, sorry. Paint brushes, paint types, banners, and scatter brushes, which would be more like um, just to kind of, well, literally scatter shapes and designs all over. If you double click on the paintbrush to the left, sometimes you've got some options where you can control the brushes. There's just options everywhere. So what I want you to do is play with brushes, see what you can make and create. And um, the next video would be talking about how to download brushes off of the internet. So now let's talk about downloading brushes off the internet. You are gonna go to the internet and search for free Illustrator brushes. Just like with Photoshop brushes, sometimes you get awesome brushes, sometimes you don't, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. For example, on our first link here to create a block, one of the first brushes they offer is for CC. We use CS6 here at Cary Grove. So that, I just know right off the bat isn't gonna work. So look at some of these descriptions and see, you know, choose wisely and don't be too upset if sometimes they don't work. Pre-tested, I do know marker pen strokes work, so let's go there. 
It's giving you some information about the brush and how to install the brush. That's what we're going to do next. These are all the brushes you're going to download if you download these brushes. And there's your download button. Your zipped folder will fall to the bottom of Chrome when you double click that and open that up. What I would suggest that you do is move your um, marker, doesn't show this on my laptop, but move that into your home directory. So you just drag it over your home directory. I'm just going to put mine on my desktop so I can show you quickly today. Back in Illustrator. To load your brush, you're going to go to Window. And you're going to go all the way to the bottom to Brush Libraries, Other Library. And that gives you a dialog box where you can navigate to your home directory and find your brushes. Remember, I put mine on my desktop because I'm on my laptop. It's a little bit different. But you're looking for an Illustrator file, FG Marker Pen Strokes. When I double click it, it should open up my dialog box of brush strokes right in there. And then I can use those as I wish.